I call this video Night of the Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead. The end of the world is here. So the Lord told us. We on it. With the game. Four-way yeah. shit, man. Yeah, we're on it. We're on the top of the game, SC. Yeah. Clemson, South Carolina. Who you play for? Who you play for? Nah, I don't play for nobody. I'm a rapper two ways, you know what I mean? Right. Y-E-A. You know what I mean? Quick question, man. Quick question. You ready for the end of the world? Notice this guy said he's a rapper. You got certain Israelites trying to bring that madness into the truth. Hey, what? Am I? God always. What you mean? All right, bro. You know it. You know about the I'm black. Hey, hey, okay. So you know about this? He said I'm black. Like that. Yeah, nigga, I'm black. Nigga say he black. Y'all heard? I know about all that. He said y'all ready for that. <laughs> Now you see the difference between when you're in this truth, you're in this knowledge, and when you're not. What you just saw there is straight up nigger culture. Nigger culture. And I don't have to tell you who raised those savages, all right? I don't. Take a bow, so-called black woman. Take a bow, a big bow. You help raise those savages. Camera turn now, but who won? I'm trying to get them. Yeah, they threw, man. That's Jake, though. See? You say, you, you say uh, 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 yeah, those are your people. No, those are not our people. Okay? Not until they wake up to this knowledge, this truth. They are not our people. They are our enemies. All right? And what did they say? They say, I'm black. See? Yeah, bro. Hey, Shalom to the elder you call. Yeah, Jake is gone, bro. Jake is gone, bro. Let's bring in the scripture. Jake is gone. Let's bring in uh, Jeremiah. Yeah, those are your people. No, they're not our people. They might be your people. They ain't our people. Jeremiah, the uh, fifth chapter, the 23rd verse. It says, but this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. And you just saw an example of that. But we're going to keep watching. There they go. Night of the living dead. <laughs> the natives are restless. The savages are restless. These are savages, man. And they'll kill you in a heartbeat, man, for just looking at them the wrong way. And that goes back to the curse that the Heavenly Father put on our people. In this case, I'll call them our people because they're under that curse. But are they really our people? Not until they come into this truth. Uh, let's go to De Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. But vocab said we're not under a curse. Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 56. I'm sorry and 54 Deuteronomy 28 and 54 so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children which he shall live uh, he shall leave and you better believe these 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 dudes here probably got baby mamas that's part of nigger culture, you know, multiplying baby mamas, smoking black and miles, breaking into vehicles <laughs> and stealing them, carjacking. What else? Um, uh, breaking and entering into homes. Okay, fighting, shooting. It's part of nigger culture. And again, I don't have to tell you who raised these savages. I don't have to tell you. Okay? This is why it is written uh, of the beginning of, of women came the beginning of sin and through her we all died. This is what happens when you have a nation that is being ruled. The men is being raised and ruled by women. This is what you have. This is the end result of the so-called nigger woman talking about she don't need no man and she's uh, uh, independent, independent. This is what happens. She raises these savages. Now, see, if these, these boys had real men in their households, they wouldn't be like this, okay? 
Guaranteed. But again, take a bow, so-called black woman. Take a bow. You, you, were, you were part and parcel in helping to destroy our nation. And to you sisters that are in this truth, that are tr trying to do right, I'm not talking about you. So don't get all, don't get your panties in a bunch. Jacob gone, bro. But you know what? Hey, by the foolishness of preaching, you know, we attempt to save them that believe. You know, that the most high, we pray the most high, save them that believe, man. And it's, it's a lot of Jacob. And I'll give it to this brother here for even attempting to do this. Now, we did this beginning felt apostle on down we did this back in the past many years ago will we do it now not really we don't have the patience for it we're almost to the end but the lord put the spirit on this brother to show you why we don't really go to the ghetto and teach these savages all right i, mean, I even have no idea with so many so many jakes out here today but it is friday you know? a lot of tourists if you uh, if you're in a place where there's so many, there's too many Jakes. Run. Get the hell out of that place. Because any minute a shootout could break out. And you know niggas can't shoot anyway. All right? <laughs> Get the hell out of there. Hey, to quote this guy, uh, uh, Tommy Sotomayor, wherever two or three, that's a place that I won't be. He's talking about two or three, two or three niggas, two or three savages. Okay? Because that's what they are. They're savages. A lot of people came in, you know, all right, all right, oh, uh, 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 there you go, the, the nigger woman's favorite pastime, walk around and exposing her body, does she know how to cook, no, does she know how to keep a house clean, no, is she, is she a keeper at home, like the scriptures say, let's bring in the scripture, oh hell no, again, nigger culture for the nigger woman, nigger culture for the nigger man, and nigger culture for the nigger woman. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm bringing it all out today. Uh, what is that? Uh, Titus. No holes barred, baby. Straight ahead, truth. Titus, the second chapter, the fourth verse. And that's all the nigger woman love to do is party. Okay. Titus 2 and 4, that they may teach the young women, now the older women, are supposed to teach the younger women, but the older women are worse. The older women are competing for, uh, with the young women in in uh, in the um, whoredom, in whoredom. Okay, the older women are trying to outdo the young women, younger women. Kidding me? Titus two and four, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. <laughs> what husband? <laughs> oh, the the nigger woman got a husband. <laughs> okay. She got many husbands <laughs> to love their children, to be discreet. There it comes. Chase, which means pure, keepers at home. Oh, no, nah, man. They're out there in the streets, especially if they have a little figure. If they have a, a little figure, they're out in the streets. If they're fat and out of shape, morbidly obese, they're still out in the streets. I don't see so-called black women that are, that are morbidly obese. That are exposing their body, man. This, this is why Yahushua can't come back quick enough and destroy the society, man. And press that reset button. Titus 2 and 5. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. There you go. Let's, let's watch some more. Yeah, hey, perfect scripture. My call Taylor, Judah, Judah Mac, Jeremiah 422. My people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadist children. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah, that's Jake, man. That's Jake. What's up? Yeah, it's on. Instagram live. Nah, it's YouTube live. Oh, YouTube live? Yeah. How many views you got right now? Right now? 121. Hey, 121 people, man. Y'all gonna fuck with my, my page, man. Now, like words. Now, it's fair. I'll let you. Yeah, he's trying to push his little rap career. All right. That's all he cares about. You know, fame. And, uh, you know, trying to be uh, the next uh, rap superstar. That's all that's on the nigga's mind. Okay. And, and like I said, you got clowns, bona fide clowns, bringing that, bringing that madness into the truth. 
And I don't have to tell you who they are. I don't even have to mention names. As a matter of fact, the guy in the red looks like that bona fide clown, the main one that's trying to bring that shit into the truth. Say something. So only fair that you hear what I got to say to y'all, bro. Y'all already y'all, heard man. you, though. What did I say? You said, are you ready for the end of the world? Right. But how does that, how does that pertain this. to you? They Okay, they own this, right? Do y'all Have any of y'all heard about the, the uh, Hebrew Israelites? Yes. Y'all heard the child Israelites? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay, I know you have. Yeah, see? And, hey, one scripture comes to mind. Romans, they've heard. So when Yahweh Shem Yahshai bring that judgment on them, they ain't, there's no excuse. Just like Yahweh Shai said, they have no cloak for their sin. And they have heard, man. There ain't no excuse. What? The Lord's only looking for his elect anyway. Here we go. Uh, Romans, the 10th chapter, beginning at the 9th verse. Uh, I'm sorry, the 18th verse. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Yes, verily. Their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. And yeah, through the magic of the internet, uh, beginning with Elder Apostle Town Down, our ministry has gone throughout the whole earth. You know? And I'm speaking on behalf of us, Great Millstone. You know, yeah, the other camps too, but I'm speaking about Great Millstone. Okay? Our ministry has gone through the whole, through the ends of the earth. We even have brothers in Italy, man. We got brothers as far as Australia, okay? So the word has gone out, no doubt about that. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth through the magic of the internet and their words unto the ends of the world. All right, uh, jumping down to the 21st verse. Uh, but to Israel, he saith, all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. And you're about to see that an example of that right now. Check it out. Yes. Okay. I know you have. You, my you uncle know. went to prison. Like the guy in the red, he, he's, he's just being a gainsayer. Okay. Well, that's not a prison he thing. He been though. put me on. No. Notice he got that long hair, which means he's effeminate. The Apostle Paul t tells you about a man, uh, about a man with long hair. Okay. Nigga culture, baby. And again, you got clowns, bona fide clowns bringing that long hair shit into the truth too. Why don't you guys just go back and be in the world like them clowns that we're watching, the, you know, the video that we're watching. Why don't you just go back and stop pussyfooting you know, trying to claim that you're a Hebrew Israelite, <laughs> right? <laughs> when you're really a when you're really a nigger, man, just go back in the world, man, and be the nigger that you want to be, and stop fronting. Uh, First Corinthians, the eleventh chapter. First uh, Corinthians, the eleventh chapter, and the fourteenth uh, verse. Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. But see, the way, you know, his hair, yeah. this guy's hair, that's part of nigger culture. What is that, dreadlocks? And again, you got guys trying to bring that shit into the truth. Think about it. Okay, I know you have. You, My you uncle know. went to prison, like. Well, that's not a prison. He thing, been though. put me on. No, he came home with knowledge, like. Okay. He that's also part of nigger culture, going to prison and bragging about it. Got niggas making songs about D block and shit. <laughs> nigger culture, boy. Night of the living dead. In the end, he didn't know about it. Came home with knowledge. Now, being that you're an Israelite and you know that, what do you think the Lord's gonna do when he comes back? You gotta repent. I, to be totally honest, I don't even think the Lord coming back. Like now, I you think, said I think we just all gonna die. Oh, you think we all gonna die? Yeah. Like. He doesn't think the Lord is coming back. Well, the Lord is coming back. All right. As a matter of fact, there's a term called AD, like we're in the in the year 2022 AD. AD is Latin for Anno Domini, which means in the year of our Lord. Meaning what? We're looking forward for Him to come back. That's what that means. AD. Anno Domini. 
All right? So he is coming back. And he, then he just said, we're all going to die. Right? You just said that, right? Well, it shows you he doesn't have the truth. All right? That's obvious. <laughs> he doesn't have the truth. What is that? Mark 9 and 1? Let's get that. Mark 9 and 1. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, the he being the shy, that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste death. And that proves reincarnation. Because obviously those individuals that stood listening to Yahushai speak, eventually they died. But they're back in this generation, right? They've been reincarnated many times and they're back in ju this generation and they're not going to die when the destruction comes. That's what Yahushua is talking about. Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death till they see the kingdom of the Most High come with power. And that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for Yahweh Shai to crack them, them skies. And at the same time, you're going to have World War Three happening. Okay? All kind of hell is going to be breaking loose. And you're going to have men that are not going to taste death or see death. But this guy just said, we're all going to die. You know, the, the rapper in red... It <laughs> said we're all gonna die. Yeah, yeah like that's my, that's my thing. Fair like that's how I feel like the Bible was wrote to where, to where. he feel like and you know when you listen to the so called black woman talk, that's just how she talks. This is proof positive that the so called black woman raised this guy. Because that's exactly how the so called black woman talks. I feel like I feel like like her feelings is Bible. What about facts? It's facts over feelings, man. All right, there's facts over feelings. Just because you feel something doesn't mean it's fact, okay? But see, again, this is proof positive. The so-called black woman raised this guy, okay? Again, take a bow, so-called black woman, take a bow. You know, you, you, you're filled with pride, but the truth is you have destroyed or helped to destroy our nation with your bullshit that you learned from your master, the so-called white man, okay? That's the truth. I feel like it was brought to where the end of the world is when you die. Like. And that's why we don't want you and your kind coming on our comment boards and telling us what's what. We don't want to hear what you got to say. I'm talking about you so-called black woman. The best you can do is come on here and, and listen with your mouth shut. Okay, because truth be told, you have destroyed this nation. All right? Tell you like it is. Let's get it. First, we're going to go to Job 14 and 1. Let's read that. Job 14 and 1. Man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. <laughs> that was Job 14 and 1. Uh, Uh, Proverbs 9 and 4. Okay, no, that's not the one I want. Oh, I just remembered the scripture. Proverbs 9 and 13. That's what I want. It says, A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. But yet, she is the one that have raised this nation, so to speak. Raise them into what? Monsters and savages and degenerates. That's what. Um, uh, Jeremiah 31 and 22. Let's read that. Jeremiah 31 and 22. That's not the one I want. at me for a minute. Well, this is a good one too. Uh, Jeremiah 31, 22. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter, for the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth? A woman shall compass a man. Yeah. She's at the head of the family now, which is, which is confusion and madness. And, and, and this is the end result of it, nigger culture. 
Okay, there's the end result of the so-called black woman ruling over the family. Instead of being underneath the man where she's supposed to be. Um, there it is. Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, children, now they are oppressors. We're talking about the so-called white man. And women rule over them. Now listen good. Women rule over them like the family, right? O oh, my people, they which lead thee, like the women, who are simple and knoweth nothing. O oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. And destroy the way of thy paths. You're looking at a destroyed generation. And I, look. I don't have to tell you who raised these savages. I don't have to tell you. Okay? <laughs> Prove me wrong. Let's get... Uh, uh, It is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, the 25th chapter, uh, the 24th verse. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Through her we all die. There you go. And this is a generation who celebrates death. Okay, this is why my man in the red said, we all, we all going to die. That's, what, that's all they know is death. That's why they, they'll, they'll be quick to shoot you. They'll be quick to kill you without no remorse, man. They are savages, man. And the only time they become our people is when they come back into the knowledge, into the truth. If they're not plugged into this knowledge and this truth, beware of them. They are your enemy. They are your enemy and they will seek to destroy you. That's why the best you can do is stay away from them. Let's watch some more. That's it, bro. Now, can I, can I read, read you something? You said that. I want to read you something. And as it is written, um, a man may be known by his look, his countenance. You can take one look at this guy, the guy in the red. You can see that he's totally lost. I mean, he's totally bugged out. He's totally gone. Oh, another thing with, with nigger culture is smoking weed. That's a big part of nigger culture. Uh, a white man wrote that Bible. You believe it? In this book, it says it. I feel like the Bible was wrote to where, to where, I feel like it was wrote to where the end of the world is when you die, like, that's it, bro. Now, can I, can I read, read you something? You said that, I want to read you something. See, they celebrate a culture of death. They're not talking about life. You said that, it'd, it'd be but look, quick. this is what I'm about to kill you with. Go ahead. A white man wrote this Bible, I'm cool on that. This is what I'm about to kill you with. A white man wrote the Bible. Wrote the Bible. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Bible, it condemns it condemns straight up. It condemns the so-called white man. As a matter of fact, this is one of the reasons why the so-called white man is trying to trying to do away with the Bible. Because the real truth of the Bible is coming out. But does he know that? Oh, hell no. Anyway, that's pretty much the video. I'm going to end it there. <laughs> this is why we don't go to the savages in the ghetto. Okay? This is why. All right. And if you want to watch the video, watch, uh, go to this brother's page, the brother you see here, the beloved brother, uh, GMS Narrator SC, number seven, and see for yourselves.